Hey everybody, Tire Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. We're already into February at this point. Think about that for a second. We're already into February. But with that being said here, just as promised, the February outlook is on the way here. Getting pretty detailed on this one since we have just about everything that we need to cover the whole month here. So that being said, Make sure you're hitting that like button and also leave a comment if you would too, especially if the weather is expected to be really interested in your area based off of what you see in the video here. That being said, let's go ahead and get into things. So here's a look at our uh, current outlook for monthly precipitation and temperature over here. If we look over to the temperature map here, you can see that above average temperatures are going to be dominant across the north here with equal chances pretty much dominant across the upper tiers of the northeast and much further down to the south the closest area that we have to watch for near normal temperatures and maybe even a in my opinion might be a slight inkling of maybe below average temperature would probably be these little gray areas right here particularly towards the florida peninsula towards the northern florida peninsula in particular and over towards the south atlantic coast here and then also of course the southwest over towards alaska even we can actually take a look and see that we have a pretty fair chance of above average temperatures here throughout the uh, 28 or 29 day actually i think this is a leap year don't quote me on it but with this being a leap year over the course of 29 days this is what we could see with the greatest probability of above average temperatures being more so towards the far northern regions of the u.s here just right up against the border pretty much this however i want to make sure i keep, make this clear and i always do in every outlook that this does not tell the full story of what we could see every day throughout the month not every day is going to have above average temperatures you might not be 20 degrees above average or 10 degrees below or whatever this is all based on what could happen within the course of 29 to 30 days or 31 days, depending on the month. And the same goes with the precipitation here to the right. Seems like the storm track to the south, and we've been kind of calling for this in the last few videos in the channel. We've been seeing that uh, active storm track really become more prevalent across the uh, south here in particular. It's often what we call the Pineapple Express here. So this coming into play here should increase the wet weather across the southern half of the u.s over towards the northern tiers and northwest it looks like we will start to get a break here which is somewhat welcome for these guys because over the course of the last month these guys were getting a lot and i mean a lot of precipitation here the same can be said over towards the great lakes too so this could be a welcome little reprieve for these guys Keep in mind though not every day is going to be bone dry there still might be chances of rain but or whatever kind of precipitation because remember we're still in winter so these areas can't get snow and often do actually but the fact of the matter is we are seeing a higher probability of seeing below average precipitation so that means that we might have more dry days than usual that's simply all that truly means and then if we even include alaska here towards the south here it looks like we're also seeing a good bit of activity a little bit of a uh, tail of that pineapple express and I'll kind of get into what that is in just a little bit here. All right, so on to the precipitation anomaly here. Just like with the uh, previous images that you saw regarding the 30-day average, this is more on a week-to-week -week basis, but still, this does not really sum up the whole story. So one thing that we're making note of, and this is time frame is right here towards the top right corner here. This is us looking towards February 8th, which is a week from now. This is pretty much already kind of showing where the storm track was going to be. Like I said, towards the end of January, we started seeing this trend. And this signal has been here for a little bit, so it's not surprising. But over here in particular, and we talked about this in yesterday's video as well, over towards uh, Southern California, Central California, we could be looking at uh, an increased amount of precipitation over here. So threat for flash flooding is definitely a thing. Also, atmospheric river conditions are possible with this as well. So definitely need to be keeping an eye out over here. Of course, also the Sierras are going to be a point of interest with this as well. And then eventually we'll see this increase in moisture transition over to the Midwest and then maybe even towards Florida and then the Southeast as well, especially as we continue to go forward to the following week and we see this pattern begin to flip further. We continue to see that moisture work its way to the East here. So by the time we get towards the 15th, 
southeast is now involved but eventually we start to switch over and this is the point where i think we start to potentially deal with a cool down here uh, like i said when we did the video yesterday we started seeing a look at some of the early trends that we could have going into the month and it does look like more cold air eventually is going to sneak down towards the back half of the month so i wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of a change in the weather pattern as well as we get towards the end of the month i do think that this could also lead to slightly drier conditions maybe not so much to where it's going to be a huge deficit in regards to rainfall but it will be notably drier but also cooler as well from what i'm i can see right here and then of course as we get towards the final day of february here this february 29th here is uh the, the uh, west out here again looking like they're going to be picking back up towards the end of the month and then from the looks of it here we're going to be staying pretty dry across the central part of the country and then off to the east as well you go further beyond that point and we we'll even take a little sneak peek at the end of this run here which shows march looks like we're kind of in a calmer weather pattern in the month here so far keep in mind with us looking five six weeks in advance some of this may be prone to change here but these are some of the signals that we're seeing in the meantime at least go ahead and take a look at the temperature anomaly here so this is in comparison to what we usually will see on average here so we'll start out with week one but you can pretty much see it here pretty much everybody's above average here and there's some places here where we're going to be significantly above average now keep in mind that on this temperature index we're measuring this in celsius but i can kind of translate some of this for you once we get to about 10 well, it's about, about two degrees fahrenheit it's about maybe 10 to 15 degrees above average once we get to these brighter colors we're getting in or even getting into this dark area right here we could be talking about 40 50 plus degrees above average here it's going to be mainly prevalent across the northern tier of the u.s hence why there's such a high confidence area on the temperature area that we were looking at a little earlier but that being said here so that does kind of drop off the further south we go we're a little bit closer to average but still for the most part above average to start out the month of february and this warm air is going to hang around at least for a good portion of the first half of the month but look what happens as we get towards the 22nd here's that cool down i was talking about where we're starting to see about 10 maybe even 15 degrees below average over here towards the south but the north is still seeming pretty warm for the most part it's pretty typical because we still are in El Nino phase uh, Enzo here, so it's not surprising to see this occurring. And I think if there was any chance of winter storms happening, it mainly, I always tend to lean towards February when I see setups like this. So this could be a question mark, but I'm not going to really read into just what exactly could happen just yet with this. And besides, like I said, we're looking three weeks out in advance. Hardly any weather models go out that far, so you don't have too much data to really compare with. Some of the ensembles don't even go out that far. But as we go towards the end of this upcoming month here, you can see that we're going to end out with a little bit of colder hanging around towards the east. And then for the most part, we're going to be shifting with that warm air off to the west here. So definitely has that look of a positive PNA here for sure. So as we, we'll do the same thing like we did with the precip anomaly. You can see that this cold air still lingers as we head into March here. So like I said, some interesting changes here. And then also I'm curious to see because as we get closer towards spring, you know, I'm always watching for severe weather here. This could be a point of interest towards the south if we have this cold air in place early on. But this doesn't guarantee anything. So take that with a grain of salt. But I, I remember some years like this before. So guess the last thing that we'll do here is take a look at the upper level wind pattern as it stands right now over the course of the next month here so here we are looking at the cfs this is going to be one of our operational runs here i'm not too big i'm not too keen on using this often because like i said with as far out as we're looking a lot of this is likely to change in some way shape or form and it's usually the smaller details that matter when it comes to any sort of forecasting here but we're just giving a sneak peek to as as to what we could see but here is what we're dealing with right now here's our ridge over here towards the heart of the country eventually heading over towards the northeast here the ohio valley so anywhere around this arch here is going to be dealing with some above average temperatures here it's going to be relatively warm there is some cold air that's coming towards the back side of this it's eventually going to push this away here 
and as we continue to move forward we'll see that here so here's that next storm system my concern has shifted from uh, the winter weather signal more so towards severe weather signal towards florida albeit a marginal one at best and then there's also a chance of a uh, slight risk for severe weather this weekend over towards texas i mainly think this will be a hail and wind threat can't rule out a tornado or two possible but i'm not going to really read into that too heavy here from the looks of it here's the storm system i i thought i had it on the wrong frame so i was just kind of trying to make sure i had it right here but yeah this is the storm system that i'm looking at over to, for uh texas here this is heading into friday night saturday morning and then of course saturday into sunday that's when florida looks to be in involved with this setup at this point and then also as we continue to go forward here's the following storm system as of right now none of these really are eye-catching and as far as intensity is concerned to start out with i think later down the line is when we start to see more robust storm systems here so here we are getting to the 16 day range this is gfs territory here so the fact that we're at this point says a lot but but as we can see here we can see the storm track to the south has become much more active and eventually we start to see more troughs beginning to sneak in as we get towards the end of the month here as shown by the time frame here so this is the 28th and then as we sneak into march you can see pretty much a similar look across the board here so like i said it looks like we're going to start to see a bit more cold air sneaking back into the country especially towards the east here some strat some say it could be stratospheric heating here i'm not too on board with that at the moment i do see some evidence of that but it's not a guarantee that it's going to be anything like a polar vortex here so here we are taking a look at the air masses here real quick before we go just to kind of see if there's going to be any evidence of any sort of stratospheric heating and right now at the moment obviously we don't see much of anything fact that kind of looks like we begin to shift back into a negative pna here or a negative ao where it's where in this case it would be stable where we have that cold air where it's supposed to be but this however doesn't last long and eventually this is what's going to lead to that cold air shifting in especially becoming more prevalent across the south this isn't a really powerful air mass it's just a weak little shift here but this does of course have its own ramifications in its own right here we also look like we have a uh, positive uh, a, a positive NAO here which is the uh, North Atlantic oscillation here this is gonna help keep some of that cold air in place but it's not gonna like I said it's not really gonna add to the problem so to speak thankfully but there is another signal that kind of allows for another little push of cold air to kind of hang around towards the east for a little bit longer to start the month of March here. So like I said, some moving parts here, but right now it doesn't look like anything crazy. But of course, like I said before as well, this is prone to changing pretty fast here. So like I said, all we can do is just kind of keep ourselves updated on here. And if anything more significant pops up, you will definitely see more videos about it. But until then, appreciate you guys all being here, watching all the way to the end, especially. But until then, make sure you uh, leave a like and a comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And also hit that share button. I'm sure this will be useful to somebody. That being said, guys, take care of each other. I'll see you very soon. It's been Tyre Metalhead Weatherman. Enjoy your Thursday.